Right now, guys, because of the because of the leg kicks that Gaethje did in round two, again, for all you casuals who don't, don't know what those leg kicks feel like, get kicked. Get kicked. And you're gonna see how is it that it's, I prefer to get hit with the right hand or uh, for whatnot than, than one, of, one of his leg kicks that'll just paralyze people. I have two and four, and particularly even, even those two eye pokes too, guys, dude, all that stuff plays an effect in, in a high competitive fight like this. What if you don't get poked in the eye? You know what I'm saying? Like, like things could change. I mean, all that stuff kind of plays an effect. But either way, going into the fifth, I had it 2-2, but just typically because of the damage that he did. And you guys go back and watch that damn fight. Going into the fifth round. What's up, everybody? Welcome to this episode of Fight Feedback. I'm your host, Henry Sudo, aka Triple C. And on today's episode of Fight Feedback, I'm going to be breaking down possibly the fight of the year. Justin Gaethje versus Max Holloway. I mean, these guys threw it down for a whole whopping five rounds, and we all know how it ended up. But this episode wouldn't be possible without our sponsor. That's right. I'm talking about lifted trucks. You may be a short king. You may be 5'4", of twisted steel and section, but guess what, guys? on the street in my lifted trucks i'm about 12 feet damn tall so you guys make sure to go to liftedtrucks.com and get your lift on here we have it man 35 32 5 11 5 11 you know obviously they both made five 156 pounds and the reach advantage goes to justin gaethje let's hit the play button Yeah, it's almost like there's there's like caution the beginning with both of them, and it's almost like you know, Gaethje's trying to attack the leg right away, but he's being a little hesitant. But then it's almost like yeah, you guys see that? You guys see that little fake from uh, from from Max? He's going he's going high and then low, like going low, going low, kind of playing that game with them. Where Gaethje that beginning of that round was just investing in those kicks. Yeah, gets caught right there by Max. Max caught that beautiful uh, right hand there. Yep. Getting Gaethje to, uh, getting getting Max, look, it's already swollen, man. His leg there from all those kicks. And then boom, this, this, this was about, because he had a bad habit of dipping down, of blocking, where this kick was able pretty much to come in. And that could have pretty much changed the course of the fight. His, his nose is broken. 100% right now, and, and Justin Gaethje has already has issues of him breathing. And again, that was uh, eye poke. That was eye poke number one. I mean, right there, guys. Whether it's an accident or intentional, remember what the ref said. You cannot, you cannot, you just cannot do that. Your fingers have to be in. But in this situation, boom. Talking about getting getting kicked in the face and the nose, and then getting eye poke. But then Justin Gaethje continues. Right now, yeah, see, he's looking at blitz to be able to get this. Is this, this? This is where Max made it different, but because once he paused, he was able to just throw that kick and catch him. Yeah, going low, going low, going low for Holloway. Yeah. Holloway's face are kind of a little overrated. I mean, they're under, they're underrated, man. Uh, Kicks, uh, plays, plays, plays the level changing game, gets him to react, gets Justin Gaethje off of his rhythm, but he's able to do that. Yeah. And it's almost like Gaethje was pretty much coming in head, but he's dipping his head again once again. And that's the second in round two. I mean, guys, that's twice too. And I, I will say this. I do feel like when there's an eye poke or there's a kick in the balls, like I should, I, I do believe that the referee should have the right to be able to look at, to be able to look at the, uh, uh, at the eye or the low blow to really make a decision on who is it that, uh, does that, does that deserve a point? Cause in, in, in my eyes, even though I do feel like just to get you with all those leg kicks that he ended up hitting, Juan Duran, but in particular with this eye poke, you almost have the second eye poke in round two. You have to give him round two. Like, you have to. It's crazy. Look, that's a thumb, dude. That's a thumb in there. And it wasn't, maybe it wasn't done intentional, but man, keep your hands in. Boom. And again, for those who don't count those leg kicks, that's, that's like worse than getting hit with the right hand, dude. Especially from a guy like that. 
Ah, again. Yeah, he goes in. Look, boom. And that's probably the position. That's probably the distance for Gaethje. He's going low. Boom, kicks him. Get up, kick. I mean, he had a, he had a, he had a crazy round with two people. Thought I was crazy, but then, yeah, I think getting into round three. Boom. Notice there. Notice what he did with his hip. He moved with his hip. Boom. Yeah, round three. And notice what Justin does with his hip. Boom. Does, if he didn't react, then he kicked him. Moved his hip, and then boom, he kicked because he didn't react that time. And I feel like Justin needed a little bit more of that. You kind of miss it on his face. You can go back there. Like he, like they, they're both going kind of high low, looking for that right hand. But in, in this situation, Gaethje needed one little fake to be able to cross distance a little bit better, to be in that fight zone a little bit more, in order for him to kind of land that right hand because he was missing that right hand a lot. You see what I'm saying? There's a fake and then start the combination and go. You cover more ground. Yeah, same thing. And now, now, now look at uh, now look at uh, Max's counter. Bah. Look, look at those gestures. Yeah, he kind of he he kind of uh, boom boom. He kind of did again because because Justin was dipping. He was allowing that kick and, and and as he was pressing, he was allowing Holloway to pop that kick off. Boom again. Again, I mean, this is where Ilya Taporia, this is where Ilya Taporia is going to have to be careful defending like this. I mean, the, 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 this was every position that he was going to block like that, guys. Like, it's almost like Gaethje should have just, boom, go, gone in for some wrestling instead of, instead of, you know, doing that bad habit. But it's almost like he's protecting himself. He's almost like, dude, I'm not, you know, and it ain't bad, but it ain't good either. Yeah, notice the level change. Notice the level changes that Holloway's doing. That's getting this dude to fight his B-side. Let's go back real quick. Notice the level changes. Notice, notice the fakes and feints. Look, that's one. To be, to be able to kind of come in. But it's, it's, it's that. And then he's just going off. The, and then he's just going right away. It's those little subtle. Get and react. Uh, 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 boom. Uppercut. Uppercut left hook. I think at this point, I think, yeah. Nice. Notice that. Notice what he did. He kind of he kind of he showed him that jab a little bit, showed him it, boom, left hook, right hand. But he he got him to think. Bah! It's beautiful. We need he, that's what Justin needed. He needed he need a little little bit of more of those setups. Waves it and then comes in with this too. He could have kept kicking that lead leg. But look, he's in he's in that distance. He kind of came off of it a little bit. I, 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 yeah, he's beating him to the punch. He's beating him to the punch. He's beating him to the punch when he's breaking in that five zone. It's right now, this is a battle who goes first because they're so close to each other. Yeah, you, you'd figure this is where Gaethje would go, but he was almost kind of like, oof, that's a knockdown. That's a knockdown. They, they got to rule that officially as a knockdown, man. Like, like where, where's the slip at? Boom, hits him, rocks him. Notice it kind of collar ties him. Boom, a little hockey style. Look, his head, what's what's with the slip? No, no, he, he hurt him. And I think Max will admit it too. And right now, guys, pause it real quick. Right now, guys, because of the because of the leg kicks that Gaethje did in round two, again, for all you casuals who don't, don't know what those leg kicks feel like, get kicked. Get kicked. You're going to see how is it that it's, I prefer to get hit with the right hand or uh, for whatnot than, than one, of, one of his leg kicks that'll just paralyze people kudos to kudos to max holloway that couldn't so right now guys i have two and four and particularly even even those two eye pokes too guys dude all that stuff plays an effect in, in a high competitive fight like this what if you don't get poked in the eye you know what i'm saying like like things could change i mean all that stuff kind of plays an effect but either way going into the fifth i had it two two and they're not necessarily biased heavy on on, on just because he is a friend but just typically because of the damage that he did. And you guys go back and watch that damn fight. Going into the fifth round. Yeah. Again. Every time he pressed him. Every time. Go back real quick. Notice the high lows. Notice that he's, he's, he's selling the hand. High. Low. Boom. And then he comes up top. But then again. Once, once Justin was pressing. 
Once Justin would always press, he was looking for that sidekick. Goes, goes high, low, high, boom, to eventually come out. But he presses, he pauses, boom. And this is, that's where Max Hall was uh, capitalizing on. One fake, like the combinations were good, but just one fake. Cover distance a little bit more, Justin. Yeah, notice that fake. You know what I'm saying? Throwing him off his rhythm. Throw him off there. Can we go back real quick? I want you guys to see it. Just catch it. Just catch this fake right here. Look, you see what I'm saying? Get him to pause, get him out of position. And he's, he's playing that game. Like these are the small little details that people don't see. Yup. And then now, I mean, as of, you know, this round, he's just going, he's just high lows. Like he's really mixing his fighting. I mean, you're thinking like maybe Mark Goddard might step in and actually, you know, start thinking about maybe stopping it. But the, the BMF that Justin Gaethje is, he's fighting, man. He's fighting high low. And now he's in the pocket. Now he's in the pocket and he's going. I mean, he's mixing it. You know, he's throwing his hands. I mean, look at all that volume that 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 Max Holloway has. Boom, body. Boom, knee up the middle. I mean. Bah, again. Every time he covered, every time he covered up, but every time Justin kind of stayed still to block, he was just throwing it. He was doing a good job with that sidekick. Yeah, just an unnecessary. 10 seconds left, he said, hey, come and join me. Come and join me. Come and join me. And then boom, he puts him out with one second left. It was literally one second left. I want to say he probably just beat Yair's record or tied it at least. Let's look at the clock. Did they bring up, did they pull up the clock? Two. Yeah, but that's one. It was literally at, it was really, it was literally at that one second mark. And yeah, man, look at Cormier, dude. Like he's like, he's trying to celebrate, but it hurts, dude. And then he kind of comes back to it. Hey, I got a job I got to do. You know, it hurts, man. It hurts watching your friend go out like that. I mean, Jesus, man. My wife called me. She's like, dude, Henry, I mean, if you thought yours was bad, getting picked up by Marab and being dragged across the, the octagon, I says, there's worse ways. But I mean, it just shows that that when you have true belief and people couch you out, I kind of max all the way out on this. I figured, I figured the leg kicks from Justin Gaethje would really put a number on him. But man, he's Hawaiian. He's a soldier. And as of right now, I think he'd be a pro he'd probably be a heavy favorite against Ila Taporia. You know, I, and I truly do mean that. Will he beat him now? I mean, the person that really has to make those adjustments in that fight is gonna have to be against Ilya. And this dude, the, the, the way the way he's been fighting, even though he was he wasn't able to make those adjustments against a very tactical fire like Volkanovski. I mean, right now, after this fight and what he was able to do at 155 pounds, I think he'll be a heavy favorite against. Tuporia. So again, guys, you guys just watch the, watch the breakdown of Five Feedback. I'm your host, Henry Cejudo, a.k.a. Triple C. And a big shout out to our sponsor, that's right, Lifted Trucks. You may be a short king. You may be 5'4", of Twisted Steel. But guess what, guys? On the street, I'm about 12 feet damn tall in my Lifted Trucks. So you guys make sure to go to LiftedTrucks.com and get your lift on. Till next time, I'm out!